Hey guys, Jordan here for another video review. Okay, so what we're going to be reviewing today is the Phoenix Ice 75 by Castle Creations. First thing is uh, let's open up the package. Let's pull out the ESC. Okay, so this is your ESC right here. What you're going to see is uh, it comes with a really nice aluminum heat sink comes with a protective housing for your your capacitors so that nothing is gonna like go and bump into them and flex them around and damage those wires in there that are really uh, important to your helicopter or your airplane this is good for helicopters and airplanes and this is the bat what the back's gonna look like data logging and switching BC this does all kinds of stuff like temperature, RPM, KV, wattage, voltage, a ton of different things. Like you can look at the seconds, everything, your whole data. So right here, this hooks up to your. This is gonna be your power supply. You can make. You can use this as your power supply to power your receiver. Uh, your pretty much your whole helicopter. And this model. Um, as you see, this is your po positive and negative terminals. You're going to have to just solder your own connectors, which is nice because you can use whatever type of connector you prefer. Then right here, you can solder on whatever bolt connector you prefer to use. No worrying about shortening the wires, and the wires come pre-tinned, which is really nice. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's open up this package and see what we get inside. Pull out the little packet they give you. Okay, so right here, this is your packet they're gonna give you. And uh, it's good up to an 8S LiPo, 34 volt max um, current, uh, 5 amp, amp pink BEC, ideal for heli and sport aircraft. So, and when you look in the book, a few things that you get. Here's uh number one thing I'd highly recommend sending in before even using this so you can program, which is gonna be including included in this video how to do. Fill out this little receipt that they give you. With each Castle ESC you get one of these and you can get a free um programming card to uh hook up to your computer and download your own settings, so highly recommend filling this out and sending it in and getting one of these little cards and you're probably wondering what that that looks like well once we get done with looking at this we'll I'll pull that out and show you and then I'll show you how to download the info onto this thing so you're gonna get your some stickers some safety info right here it's gonna show you how to hook everything up and stuff Uh, some info in the packet, troubleshooting, a bunch of uh, really nice things, uh, error codes, so there's going to be different flashes and stuff, different beeps if something's going wrong that you want to figure out. And remember, don't disconnect that battery from the helicopter until you figure out what those flashing lights and stuff are, because something might have happened on board that you need to know. And a bunch of other stuff right here, some data logging info. And uh, let's get on to the next part and show you how to hook up this little programming card that you will get if you send in that card. So this is what it looks like right here. And uh, let's show you how to use it and uh, why it's so useful. So the first thing, I'm going to take this thing out of the package. Use this thing a lot. It's a great, great tool. Um, you're probably wondering when you get this how you're going to use this. I just use a uh, a PS3 uh, connector. Some of the Motorola Razor chargers and stuff like those type of plugs that have USB. Some of those don't work for the computer, but most do. It's this kind of plug right here. If I can get to focus on it, probably get the idea. 
and then uh, that's just going to plug right into the back of this right here. So, what you're going to want to do is, well, first I'll show you how to hook this up to the to your ESC. Okay, first, you're going to want to go over here to your computer. Give a little zoom up right here. You're going to want to take your cord, plug that into one of your ports, and then, once you have that plugged in, go back down here. So this is plugged in now. And we're going to want to take our ESC programming card right here and plug it into the end of this right here. You're going to see that's going to light up. You got a red light right here. And then, once we have that going, um, we can go on the software part. And we can click on the castle link setup right here. You get to zoom in on that. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Next, you're gonna want to let's exit out of this part. So first what you're going to want to do is take your programming card right here, just get to focus on here. Sorry, I'm just doing this by myself right now. And there's a... Uh, there's a signal wire, which almost looks like a pi symbol on this, and uh, and then there's a, a plus and a negative. Um, the orange wire on this thing is going to be your signal wire, which is going to be that pi looking symbol, and then the uh, the reddish orange wire is going to be your plus, and the bronze is going to be your negative. The bronze is just like the black, the reds. Reddish orange is just like your positive, and then the orange is going to be your signal wire. So the orange is going to line up with that little pie looking symbol, which is your signal. You're going to see the lights kind of change right there, flashing. So that means it's, it means it's hooked up. Once you got it hooked up, go to the computer again. That's going to pop up right there. And now we can go into uh, some features on this. Okay. Um, you can do throttle adjustments, change what it's for, airplane, helicopters, control line. So for us, we're going to want to click helicopters. You can choose between governor mode, fixed endpoints. If you choose governor mode, you can change the rate of spool up, the head speed change, low, medium, low, medium, high, and custom. I'm going to do uh, medium. Governor gain, how reactive it is, just like on your tail. Um, so I'm going to first... Um, you can set the RPM right here, and it's going to show, uh, in order to set up, you must click OK, and it's, and you're, it's going to tell you, uh, what you're running, what type of battery, uh, normal cell, number of cells in series, so for us, we're using it for a T-Rex 500, so we would click, uh, six cells in series, 3.7 volts per cell, and then click OK. And it's going to tell us motor information, magnetic poles, how many poles on the motor, uh, teeth of the pinion, and teeth of the main gear. Once you put those in, you're going to be able to figure out uh, those formulas. I don't have those with me at this second. But if you punch those in, you can adjust the RPMs and stuff. It'll be 
you'll have to uh, set your radio for 30% flat curve for normal, 70% 70, 70 for uh, idle up 1, and 100 for your last idle up 2. So, right here, pretty much gone over this part. Put this in the fixed endpoints for uh, to show you what I mean. You can hook up the, the brake, which there's no brake. Uh, cell cutoff can hook up auto, I would do auto lipo 3.2 volts per cell and uh, I normally click soft cutoff hard cutoff it's just going to shut your motor off pretty hard uh, motor start power this is my settings the motor timing direction and then uh, for outrunner motors click outrunner mode you've got a bunch of these hertz settings Directions, I use forward obviously. Motor timing, click the timing, just put normal. Um, other, power and beep, BC voltage, you can switch between different voltages coming out. Uh, logging, battery voltage, battery ripple, battery current, control temperature, current controller, input throttle, controller motor power output, motor RPM, does temperature, does a lot of different things. And once you want to download the data, you would just click download no log data, which we have no data, so we can't download that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for what you can do. And uh, a bunch of neat features that you can play with, set up to how you like. And uh, that's pretty much the overview of this great ESC. Uh, like it a lot. Recommend it for uh, anybody that wants a really nice, high quality ESC. Great price. And uh, I, I run it on my T Rex 700 electric, and it runs great. So, and I've done a lot of work with these 75s also. So, I can't wait to put this into a T Rex 500 and. Uh, do some testing on this one. I've done this before, the CSC with testing. So, just disconnect it. And, uh, that's pretty much all you do. Just disconnect that thing. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep updated on new, uh, postings of, uh, different video reviews and stuff. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Jordan, and I'm signing out.